exchange and moving on to more serious business new documents show that the epa knew of the risk of a blowout at a colorado mine along the animus river at least one year before that massive toxic spill todd hennis is the gold king mine owner and he says that the epa has no one to blame but itself but what are the repercussions todd uh the repercussions are actually fairly large because we have a threat of a much larger blowout potential that exists in the adjoining Sunnyside Gold Mine property that EPA has ignored for 14 years. But t uh, tell me, Todd, what you know about because there, so there has been this revelation that the EPA knew of danger at this abandoned mine. These are according to uh, documents that came out that were released late last week. But how did the I, so it begs the question and maybe it's unanswerable if they knew then why did it happen it happened because it was a disaster waiting to happen if it had not occurred on my property it would have occurred on another property adjoining the main problem mine epa i believe was short of funds on this project and it shows up what that, uh, we had we had a disaster. All right, so Todd, what did, do you have any sense of what the EPA is doing now to prevent this from happening at other mines in the region? The EPA is doing a canvas of other potential mine blowouts, but again, they ignore the larger issue that exists on federal land owned by the U.S. government, which has an order of magnitude 1,000 times worse potential disaster, and that's the Sunnyside gold mine. Do you have any confidence in the management at, at the EPA? No, actually, uh, they have a few good people on the line, but the management of EPA is paralyzed by this inst instance and uh, still appears to be paralyzed. What about the toxic levels in the river? I mean, we've heard positive things, but what about the longer term damage? Have they been communicating anything about that to you? No, I have heard very, very little from the EPA. I've requested uh, to be able to talk to either Gina McCarthy, the Region 8 Director, or Gina McCarthy's Chief of Staff, and have been steadfastly ignored. Todd, keep us up to date, please. Let us know if anything changes. It was great to see you. Todd Hennis. Thank you.